Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Cleveland Guardians. And now, first pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set and stepping in for the Mariners, Adam Frazier. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that one a little bit high. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The wide to kick the pitch. On a line, base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. At the plate, Ty France. Righty delivers. Pitch misses there. The count now two and two. Kicks and fires. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Ty France goes deep, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2-0. Here's Jesse Winker. The 1-1. And that one wrapped foul. And a one-two. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. One out in the top of the first. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. So now three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One gone runner at first. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. And ball four to a board. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So, you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and get out of this little jam. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Julio Rodriguez now at the plate. Julio Rodriguez. Base hit center field. Here's Hanniger on his way to the plate. Throw home not in time. The run scores. And they lead by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Jared Kelnick. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Roll over to Bradley. Inning over, and it could have been worse. We go to the bottom of the first, and now Miles Straw. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and one gone. 
And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Next offering upstairs. Ray, when you talk about his skill set, he stops teams from getting hits. That's the thing that he's so good at. He's just really difficult to get base hits against. That one down the line. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. The switch hitter batting right. Well, he's got power, and he has a reputation of being a strike thrower. So, to his advantage, he can expand the zone. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. Jose Ramirez bops one out, and they're chipping away. It's 3-1. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is the inning. Back now at Progressive Field. Second inning, set to go. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tom Murphy. The next offering misses. And it's 2-1. and one. He can throw that fastball slightly above the top of the strike zone to get hitters to chase. He can also break it off because when you're geared up for good velocity, it's hard to stay back. You have to make a decision really early. Calls it in, and there's one away. Here's Adam Frazier. Now back. So what's the approach Adam. from an offensive perspective against a guy that doesn't give up a lot of hits? I think you just kind of have to lean out over the plate and, you know, take your base. But seriously, you, you just have to try to shorten up. I think guys choking up on the bat a little bit to have some more bat control be a little bit quicker and don't get greedy. The pitch. And now it's three and two. One down, base is empty. To the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two up, two down to the top of the second. Now the number two hitter, Ty France. Next pitch in the dirt. Three and one now. Two down, nobody on. That's in there. That is strike two. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now it's going to be Jesse Winker. And that one fouled off. France leads off first with two down to the inning. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number three. Here in Cleveland, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Bobby Bradley. Next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. And yeah, there's the strike. Bradley waits. That one well upstairs, and that's ball three. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Now it's Oscar Mercado. Bounced up the middle. Crawford picks it up. Now the throw to first on the run. And that's an out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Andres Jimenez. The wind of the pitch. And now the count is even. Left hand hitter waits. And that's down and away. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch.
Haniger turns, moving to his left. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Back here in Cleveland. And now the right fielder, Mitch Haniger. The wind and the pitch. And a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. And now it's even up. That one ripped left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. He reached out a walk his first time. And the pitch. Stays alive. On the ground right side. And it goes just foul. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. His first at bat was a strikeout. The pitch. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one's carrying. Can't get their base hit. And that's a two-out double. Now that the center field. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Here's a 2-1. The other way, and there's a hit. Crawford headed for the plate. The throw in. And he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Back-to-back -back base hits. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And now here is Jared Kelnick. Rodriguez at second with two down. And now the count filled up three and two. Man at second. And a swing and a miss. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Back here at the ballpark, here's the catcher, Austin Hedges. 1-1 one, one now. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Bradley Zimmer. The pitch. And downstairs. Two and one now. That one missing inside. That's in there. And that is strike two. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The punch out there, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Stepping up for the Guardians, Miles Straw. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Fought off foul. The 1-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Flares it towards left center field. Brings it in for the third out. And welcome back. Start of the fourth. And here's the catcher, Tom Murphy. And a pop-off, right side, foul territory. And in foul ground, he pulls it down, one out. All right, Singy, trivia time. 
back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. All right, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam! Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Frazier retired. Ty France, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. The 1-1 nope. is upstairs, and it's 2-1. and one. The pitch. Out to short. In plenty of time to first, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Bottom four. So in now for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Now That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And he deals. That's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Next pitch downstairs. And it's two and one. At the belt and fires. Just off the outside part of the plate. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And fouled off. And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So now here's the DH. Fran Mil Reyes. And a 1-1. One -one. Oh, Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 3-1. A little out front there as he swings through it. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. And the pitch. On the ground, right side, into the outfield, base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate, and it's now a two-run game. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Next offering in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Left field. Kelman try to get to it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is a big first out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Next pitch off the play. And that's ball two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Kicks and fires. And yeah, that's outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Line and a base hit into right. They're waving Ramirez home. The run scores. Here comes a second. The relay in to score from first. It's 4-4. Save! Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. He didn't smoke that ball, but he didn't have to, man. When you're working the ball gap to gap, there's so much open space out there. So I think that knock was all about his approach and that willingness to just let the ball get deep on it. Slow ground ball to the right side. A flip to the pitcher covering, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Austin Hedges stands in. Why to kick the pitch? 
to the left side, but it is well foul. Here comes a pitch. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Next offering is foul back. In the air, right field, Hanniger raging back towards the wall. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back now at Progressive Field, and now Jesse Winker. Right-hander kicks, deals. Can't get there. Base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Rosario with a relay throw, and he's there with a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next to hit, Mitch Hanniger In the air, center field. That one's back there. And gone. Mitch Hanniger sends it out. And now they're out in front. It's 6-5. Eugenio Suarez getting ready to hit. A strikeout and a walk. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Hedges collects, fires to first, got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. The 2 1. And there's a foul ball. That's hard hit on the line. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. And now, Julio Rodriguez. And a pitch. Ball three. And it's ball four. He missed down low. They hand the ball over to a new arm. Sam Hentges. It's his job to keep his team in the game. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So one out with two aboard. And up next for Seattle, Jared Kelnick. The pitch. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. To third. Tag got him. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Bradley Zimmer. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. I got three one. Three balls, one strike. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. And the count is filled up. Pretty rare location right there. Right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Miles Straw will hit next. Next pitch inside. Two and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 
next offering is down low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Pretty much the last guy you want to hit. Now you got to try to control the running game because you know he's usually thinking about swiping a bag or two when he's on the bases. And now the lefty swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Banks off the wall. The relay throw. It's offline, and he scores. It's 6-6. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Next offering is in for a strike. Gooder's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. Man, it's popped up. Murphy should have this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. Fran Mil Reyes digs in for the Guardians. The designated hitter, Fran Mil Reyes. That clips the corner. Rosario at second with two down. And it's even up. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. The pitch to short zips it to first that ends the inning and they limit the damage back here at the ballpark so here's Murphy now the wind and the pitch and it's filled up The pitch out towards right center that's well struck way back there and that one is gonna go Tom Murphy sends it out and they slide in front in the sixth it's seven six Adam Frazier now at the plate swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field tracks it down for the out one away. So up next, Ty France. The wind of the pitch. And now two and one. Rip, but it curls foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Just off the outside edge. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. On the ground, out to short. Fires across the diamond. Got the out. Now it's the Mariners' DH. Jesse Winker for the fourth time tonight. Here's a 1-1. Slider misses outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Oh, look at the stop. And they get the out. Back down for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Anthony Misevich trying to protect this lead. of the six and now it's Bobby Bradley swings and misses and the count is one and two and the pitch got him and there's one away and here is Oscar Mercado 
This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. Frazier handles the chance. Over to first. And that quickly, two away. And up next for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Two outs. And now the count, one and two after the swing and a miss. The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. France takes it to the bag. That ends the inning. Here in Cleveland, we go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Next offering is way upstairs. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. That's towards center. Straw under this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. So digging in, Eugenio Suarez. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Suarez swings and drives one deep left field pulls it in on the warning track two outs base is empty and now the shortstop jp crawford two two down liner to second it picked on the hop Jimenez throw to first and that is the third out of the inning. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Sergio Romo. And he'll work on holding this lead. here in Cleveland and now the catcher comes up to him Austin Hedges oh. next one misses and the count is even two and two righty to the plate stays alive And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. So Hedges is gone. Now it's going to be Bradley Zimmer. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. But you want. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So the batting order turns over. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. Right-handed reliever. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the right-hander deals. On the ground. And there's a hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. New pitcher now, Eric Swanson. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Eric Swanson. 
Ahmed Rosario, the next to hit. Swanson picks to first, and he's back safely. Straw off of first with two away. Next one off the plate inside. Ball two. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? At the belt and fires. And that's ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. First and second, two outs. Here's Jose Ramirez. And here it comes. This to center field. Rodriguez gets there. He's under it. And that is that. We go to the eighth. And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, that gives him a runner, and maybe they can turn it into something more. With nobody out, a lot of things can happen here in this inning. The 1 1. That one drifts inside. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter, the track. Popped up. Rosario on the move. Squeezes it. One down. Now it's Tom Murphy. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, Boo. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. The 1-1. One -one. And a good eye there. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. That one in for a strike, two and two. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to third, might be two. Throw gets by him at second. So bases loaded with one away. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. He's already homered here in this one. The pitch. And that's ripped for a base hit. One run is in. Hits the fence. Pulls him to third safely as two runs score on the play. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Nick Sandlin. And he'll go to work with runners on second and third. One away, runners at second and third. Now here is Jesse Winker. And a pitch. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't pull the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it fair. And that one gets away at the plate. Nothing happening on the bases, though. The 2-2. On the ground, right side. Base hit. One run is in. Zimmer to third. The tag out. But a run does come in to score. So, man aboard. Now, Mitch Hanniger. One for three.
Next pitch has popped up. Jimenez moving under this one and puts the squeeze on that. And that's the third out. And welcome back. Now it's the DH, Fran Mil Reyes. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's ball four. Nope. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Man at first. Stepping in the long ball threat, Bobby Bradley. Right hander kicks deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now one away. Stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Mercado. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. Andres Jimenez digs in now. Here comes a pitch. And that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. New pitcher for the Mariners, Diego Castillo. Austin Hedges now. The next offering misses. And the count, two and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two two. Good eye right there. Three two now. Lifted in the air, right center field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. A run comes in on the play. So in now for Cleveland, Bradley Zimmer. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. Frazier makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now for Seattle, Eugenio Suarez. The wind of the pitch. And now it's even up. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty delivers. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Suarez aboard here at first with nobody out. That hits the dirt and a full count now. And he deals. This one in the air right field. Zimmer under it. And out number one on the grab. So up next, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate, stay out of that double play. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Puts it in the air out towards left center. A little bloop single. Oh, the throw is wild. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And a pitch. And now the count is even. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Straw ranging into the alley. And there's two away. So first and second with two outs. Now the Mariners catcher, Tom Murphy. He's already homered in this game. Two outs. And strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Did not go. First and second. Two down. Hard hit left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and the bases are now loaded. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Logan Allen will take over here. The bases are loaded, so no time to settle into this one. Now at the plate, Adam Frazier. The 2-1. Swings through that one. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Zimmer racing over to make the catch. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Paul Seawall. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and stepping in is the speedy Miles Straw. Two balls and a strike. Here comes. On a line out towards center. Rodriguez makes the catch, and there's one down. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. Right-handed reliever. That one missed. Two one now. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And the righty deals. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Pretty good fastball location. Down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it. And hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time, though. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Left-hand batter waits. Stays alive. Rosario over at first with one away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Seawall throws over. Rosario back easily.
Riding to the plate. Got him. And the Guardians with one out left. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Fran Mil Reyes. And the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Is just one strike away. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Lined in the left center. And that should be extra bases. Runner around third. Crawford with a relay home. Tag. Got him. And that's the ball game. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next guy stepping up and getting it done. You got to give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. And your final 10-7. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners, 10 runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Cleveland, seven runs on 10 hits. One error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely.